the Associate Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction Programs at MCPS, Nikki T. Hazel, said, The new opt-out policy was the result of meetings with a small group of principals in March 2023, during which the school board determined that principals and teachers could not accommodate the growing number of opt-out requests without causing significant disruptions to the classroom environment and undermining MCPS's educational mission. Sadly, this is a sentiment I have heard all too frequently before. From politicians to bureaucrats, and yes, even school boards and principals, it seems more often than not these groups would rather force others to comply with their failure rather than learn from it themselves. The school board for MCPS found that a lot of parents were opting their children out of the classes with these objectionable books, rather than asking themselves, hey, if so many parents object, do we need to look again at these books we've chosen? Instead, their response is to prevent parents from opting their children out. The school board had three concerns. First, high student absenteeism. In one instance, for example, parents sought to excuse dozens of students in a single elementary school from instruction. Second, the infeasibility of managing numerous opt-outs. Teachers would have to track and accommodate opt-out requests for their students, and other staff who spent time in multiple classrooms would have to do so across an entire school. Finally, the school board was concerned that permitting some students to leave the classroom whenever books featuring LGBTQ characters were used would expose students who believed the books represented them and their families to social stigma and isolation. The school board believes that would defeat its effort to ensure a classroom environment that is safe and conductive to learning for all students and would risk putting MCPS out of compliance with state and federal non-discrimination laws. Based on these concerns, the school board decided to disallow opt-outs for the storybooks regardless of the reason after the 2022-2023 school year. Did you see that? The school board was more concerned about their lives than those of the children. They were concerned with high student absenteeism, but not why the students were absent. They were concerned about the workload of the teachers, but not the impact on the students. And finally, while claiming they were concerned about the social stigma of students who believe the books represent them, the board showed absolutely no concern for the significant number of students who might be uncomfortable, even stigmatized, by being exposed to such topics at their age.